with code number 1221, split a string in balance strings. Okay, uh, we have a balance strings, balance in terms of has the same number of characters L and R, and we have to see, find the maximum number of balance strings that we can split these two. We are talking about continuous splitting, so it, it should always be a substring of some some sort. So uh, this kind of reminds me the task about about the brackets and checking whether it's a correct bracket expression or not. But anyway, uh, the the point is the following: this is uh, this is a semi greedy approach that we have to take in in, in this task, and. The greediness is in, in the following assumption, that the suffix, the minimum, oh sorry, a prefix, well it will go for the suffix too, but, so the minimum prefix, which is balanced, is already the best first split that we can have. So the first prefix, if, or, or in other words, the minimum prefix, which is of a balanced str string, is going to contribute to the answer. And that is the best way we can do it. For example, in, in this case, for example, with three L's and three R's. Oh, then like another one. So for this case, it, the answer would be something like this. And I have to write the initial string on the top to show the point. So suppose we say that it's not the best answer. So in that case, the answer would be would be even worse because somehow the prefix has to be balanced by itself, right? We have an L, we have an L, we have an L. So somehow we have to like balance them. And the and the first prefix of the minimum length that is balanced, we have to cut and solve the same problem <coughs> again for the new string. We should be shorter at this point. We'll have this on the on the second step. And after this we'll go again, well, L, L, need two more R's, we got the R's, yep, we split it one more time, and this will be the final split. But but this is just a talk in, in a sense that we don't actually need to split the strings, but we'll do it just like we do the brackets problem. If you're familiar with the bracket problem, we'll checking if the bracket is a fully correct bracket expression or not. But if you're not, not familiar with it, where it doesn't matter. We'll, keep, we'll name this a balance because it's usually called that. And our, our result, of course. Okay, so for the balance, we can assume that, um, well, for example, L is like plus one, R is minus one. Uh, in other words, whenever our balance reaches zero, it means that at, that at that point we were able to accumulate equal number of letters L and R. That means that that is our split, and that means that we found at least one string that we can split it to. So we'll go it like this. If, uh, well, actually, let's do this with one line because there are only two characters. We'll add to the balance if C is equal, so let's say L would be our one. So if C is one, we'll, uh, we'll C is L, then we'll add one. In other words, in other case, minus one. And if the balance is zero, then we we'll say that this is our split. We took the prefix; it's balanced, and we are solving the same problem for the remainder of the string. And uh, then the result. So let's check this out. Okay, and submit. Okay, and the uh, link to the code again will be in the description box, and thanks for watching.